Hey guys, in this video we'll be going over the explorer. He is also referred to as Jack's uncle. The explorer lives in Sandover village. His hut can be found on the northeastern side of the village. The hut has a very large cone-shaped roof made from wooden tiles. The roof has two large eaves. These seem to be inspired by Japanese architecture. The walls of the hut are made from smooth stone. It has four windows, two small glass windows, and two large ones that open up with hatches. The foundation of the hut is made from bricks. Around the perimeter of the hut is a large deck. This has a ramp at the very front, so this way you can reach the top. My Overhanging the doorway of the hut is a lantern. This can be seen attracting moths at night. Entering the hut and turning left, you will find two barrels next to a window. Leaning against there are two pillows, making a small seating area. Above this hangs a lantern to provide some lighting. Next to this is an open fire. There is a cauldron hanging from the chimney here. You can see it steaming away as it's cooking. To the right of the fireplace are five barrels, two larger and three smaller. They most likely contain food, being that they are next to the cauldron used for cooking. Above the barrels are two shelves. The lower one has a bowl of fruit, a cup and a jug. The upper shelf is filled with books. The next window has a curtain hanging up, although this is hanging very lopsided. Perhaps the hut has become a bit worse for wear when the explorer is out on his adventures. Sitting inside the window is some flowers in a box. Just below the window to the right is a bucket. In between the large windows hangs a very large bookcase on the wall. All three shelves are filled with books, possibly containing information for his adventures. Below this is a large chest. Sitting on top of the chest are two maps. These were most likely created by the explorer, as it is well known that he is also a cartographer who has travelled the world many times, collecting everything from gems to eco. Leaning against this chest are two more cushions. To the right is another large window. The curtain in this window is also crooked, with some more flowers sitting below. To the right of this window is his bed. It has five pillows on top. Hanging on the wall above are sections of a very large map. This map, if complete, would show the world of the Precursor Legacy. The map on the left shows Sandover Village, Sentinel Beach, the Forbidden Jungle, and Fire Canyon. The map on the right shows Snowy Mountain, Lava Tube, and Golemire Citadel. <laughs> At the foot of his bed is another large chest. Hanging above is another lantern. In between the final window and the doorway sit three more barrels. The flooring of the hut is made from wooden planks with multiple blue rugs laying across it. The explorer can be found in his hut, looking over his maps, talking to himself while preparing for his next journey. Well, in my day, you could walk the lands without being assaulted by monsters. So many places to see, and so little time. Oh, I do miss the open road. I need more precursor orbs. I need to set off on my journey soon. I need precursor orbs. <laughs> the explorer wears cloth around his feet, with cufflinks around his wrist and similar style around his lower legs. These have a red strap around them. He wears baggy beige pants. These do get tighter on the lower legs as they are pulled in by these straps. He wears a blue sleeveless tunic, which has a very large collar and large buttons. Around the middle he has a very large belt, this looks to be a red leather with white cloth behind it. Over his shoulder he has a leather satchel to keep his items in, including the power cell he gives you. He also has a walking stick. This has a large green gem in the middle, which he most likely acquired on one of his journeys. On this hand he also has a ring. He has a large monocle over one of his eyes. The other eye we can see is green in colour. 
He has a rather large nose, under which he has a moustache that connects into his sideburns. He is mostly bald, apart from some hair on the very back of his head, his facial hair and eyebrows. All his hair is blonde. As the explorer is known as Jack's uncle, they might have added design elements to help relate them. Jack also wears a blue tunic in a very similar style, and they both have blonde hair, although Jack's is green at the roots. Their explorer helps look over Jack's upbringing and cares for him a lot. He refers to Jack as dear boy and my boy, and gives him a map with a wax seal of himself and a small note. Jack, my boy, I hope this comes in handy on your quest. Good luck, your uncle. The explorer has quite the legacy behind him, as Samos can be heard muttering to himself about Jack's ability to measure up to him. He'll just never be like his uncle. <laughs> I don't care what the others say. Later, however, he seems to have had a change of heart, mentioning how proud Jack's uncle would be with his accomplishments. Jack, your uncle would be proud. That was a giant arm from a precursor robot. I've never seen one in such good condition. I can't imagine what the lurkers wanted with it, but we sure didn't want them to get it. If you keep this success up, nah, you'll still fall short of hero. But keep trying. It's endearing. When talking to the explorer, he will ask for your help so he can set off on his adventure. He also insults Daxter, not knowing he is present and is now an Otzel. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wished to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little, annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, Totter, bye-bye. As you can tell, he speaks in a very thick British accent. In the official Jack Free Guide, there is a section of interviews with Naughty Dog and a Where Are They Now section. This is what it says about Jack's uncle. Some say this aged uncle could be the missing link to Jack's past. Others say he was one of the first warriors sent by the precursors to Jack's world, posing as a friend of the family to watch over Jack while he grew up in Sandover Village. A few Saturnine souls have even suggested he was just the old village sanitation worker who after years of breathing in nasty fumes had finally lost his marbles, telling delusional stories about bogus travels abroad. But what we do know is that Jack's uncle did mysteriously vanish on a so-called trip right after Jack brought him the large cache of precursor orbs. Knowing precursor orbs can be used to power precursor technology, the rumour of uncle's connection with the ancient ones and his possible time-travelling adventures refuses to die. Still, where Uncle got his ridiculously bad English accent will forever be a mystery. So many places to see, and so little time. There is a lot of mystery around the Explorer. As we find out more about Jack in the other games, it puts their relation into question. Although the section in the Jack Free Guide does touch upon this, there are still many fan theories on what might have been. These videos are more of what we know from official sources, rather than fan theories, so perhaps in a future video I will touch upon some of these ideas people are having. The Explorer is a great character, adding mystery and inducing a lot of creative thought from many people. And that's my overview on the Explorer. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.